Now, this is a bit of a poor start for Envy. They really wanted this to be an eight hit with a four player stack. They've lost Marved as well. So, I mean, the wall wasn't really put down for a retake. Looks like a bit of misuse of uh, that Viper utility in the early round. They wanted to try and contest that B main. They lose that. A couple of players falling, okay. but FNS does a good job of pulling it back into even numbers before going down. Victor getting shock darted out of this round. The time is quite low. The spike ticking away, and Ye is going to try to bait them into open combat. Sushi Boys clears the spike, knows I'm they're done. not on it, and the round is already over. He'll even take a headshot just to close that one out. One to zero for the underdogs of Exit, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not Joey, well then you didn't do a great yeah, job. Tell me who it is, and maybe I'll remember for next time. This is a fast plant, though. Very aggressive push coming in onto the site, and oh, Victor. Managed to find the opener. He does get out there with a the dismiss. He's low, but then gets the heal back up. Sure, there's a few weaker weapons here, but he's getting away with murder. Yeah, this has been a good start for X10 with the plant, but they really need to find some kills if they want to walk out of this round with smiles on their faces. And it's going to be Patapan to open it. Oh, they've even got a shock dart kill. This could be fantastic. Down to the 1v2. Spike still to be defused, but with Sushi Boys falling the round. Will this is a solid early round yet again. We need to see Envy's response. Yeah, we've had the sort of back and forth of the lockdown combined, and actually, Victor's going to peek back in. Again, Scary gets caught. That's his utility down with him. It's a big kill, actually. Taking down that wall, taking out the poison orb on post plant play. Also going to make those shock darts from Foxy a little bit more difficult to use. Oh my god, Cruz! He just <laughs> ran out for the duels with Patapan backing him up, and the kills swing massively in fade down this wall. Either that or they need to have a better solution to, to the aggression from X10. Round on round. Grab a few tags. The spike going down yet again. Wall broken. And out in the open, Cruz is taking damage. Woo! Scary does well to at least trade it back and put it into this 4v2. Look how low Cruz is. Still has a res online if it's needed, but they are losing players. And with the HP being so low, they need to be very, very careful as Envy look to push back in. That spike is planted perfectly, though. It is out in the open. Marv, though, catching one Viper's Pit online, and they're going to go for the defuse, bait them into the fight, where Marv takes another. The res comes in. Down goes Cruz, and it's all onto the rest of Sushi Boys. He has got that Blade Storm to play with if he wants to try to get inside. Oh, he's so close, and he'll get him in the end. I think there's not enough time for this defuse to come through. It's going to be damn close. I think he might just oh, about I think he has it. it. Just about, yeah. He's, he's going to get it One through. One second. A second that adjustment a little bit later on. Or maybe just more of an idea behind it. I like this idea. Spamming on through. Looking to take them <laughs> down. But <laughs> Scary follows the tracers. Anyway, you can spam. I can spam back. Well, they need this kill. Scary. It's another one. FNS is dropped, and this is almost starting to look like a safe scenario. They need something incredibly quickly, otherwise, it's not going to work out. Marv, what? he has managed to kill off Padipan, and if they get this kill on the flank, it could completely turn the round in his head. But you just see it instantly from Foxy. He's like, you know what? Okay, you can come to me. Yeah, and they're going to have that wall back up online in a second. They wanted to put it up. That could have been dangerous. Yeah, you got a little peek out, but they're just delaying, just running that clock down. Bladestorm popped right now. You can see they're a little bit scared on the X10 side, but they have no need to be. It's a save out of Envy, and only Ye will survive, if even Cruz. Thinking about taking that peek around in towards the spawn. It'll be dangerous for Ye. He has started to rotate Ye around, but he won't be here on time. Again, it's going to potentially be a retake for him, because, of course, his teammates on site only got pistols to play with, and... Well, they're lucky to stay alive there. FNS is still going to walk away with a good bit of damage. Even a uh, double kill me? with a classic on the site. How has he gotten away with this? No. Crashies no. with a double of his own. And all that's left is Foxy. This is absolutely oh, unbelievable God. around that you would be completely right to count Envy out. Take him down. Already the tag. Victor's making it away for now, but he'll be caught on the back end. With him down, the site is now under threat. A drone out for Crashies. He's managed to catch a few of them, but you really got to fall back on this one. The Killjoy ultimate has come into effect, and with the Hunter's Fury already used, unfortunately, you got to give up control. They've also kind of used the tag as bait. Oh. They faked the rotate away, so you see Ye rotate back to B, but you also see the push-up. I think they've just played Envy there because they thought that they were falling back because of the pings coming off of the tag. Crashy stuck in the corner. This is brilliantly played from the side of X10, and yet... But that, get that Killjoy ult. It's, it's not even that. Well, no, they did the Killjoy kill ult then before, FNS, because yeah. otherwise... Ooh, aggressive spot. Finally, there we see is. something out from Ye. He's going to shut down Padipan. Victor also getting aggressive. The timing is perfect. He is going to get traded out by Sushi Boys. 
there is now a chance for them to find an opener back in onto Marv. If he goes down, they could be in quite a bit of trouble, but not this time. Sushi Boy is his shot. Love this push-up by Marv as well. Do they expect him? I doubt it, and no, they don't. Down goes Cruz, spike in the open. Scary has to strike, and he will not, as Marv finds a three. That one, I'll say that. He has scared them away for now. That's a uh, double kill what? from a Hunter's Fury. A tag onto Scary. Huge damage for Envy to start this round off. Scary's going to try his best to pull this back, and he'll get a double of his own. Oh, as Patty falls, this is looking a little bit scarier. Victor finds the player inside the smoke, comes out of his ultimate, and finds Scary waiting for him. This guy is on fire in this round, saving X10, but he'll have to ace it. Two players. I imagine. That's exactly what's about to happen. This is so scary. I mean, the good thing about this is a lot of these angles are going to be narrow, but with an operator, you can't really spam them. You're kind of relying on Marv to catch him at random or push him in together, but how are you going to get up there? Through the rope while he's waiting on the other side, and you're not going to be able to trade that out properly. Oh, the spam! It's so close! Oh, he's going to drop down, but Ye is waiting and taking him down. The ace denied. He is sat in the spawn, man. There's three players about to walk over him. Are Ready. they going to check him? Oh, no, they're not. There's one to start things off, but now they're ready and pouncing right back on him. Sushi Boys loses a lot of HP in that, and Crashies, oh, their whole team wants to get aggressive. They are bringing the fight right to them. Scary putting up a damn good bit of resistance but now he's being pushed down on the fight around the back. Where can he even go? There's enemies all around him. He's sneaking onto the site, trying to catch an angle where they can be How's surprised. He and he's taking crashies down before falling. Sushi Boy's on low HP. Sadly, doesn't look all too likely. If he can hit the headshots, they'll both be vulnerable to just the one hit. But around the side, Victor closes it out, and that is end site. Similar move to what we saw from X10 earlier on. Will it have similar results? The plant is already attempted, but the spike now dropped an invisible gun in the hands of Marv. He'll eventually materialize it and look to take a few kills along with that spike. In fact, the plant attempted up close, but Patapan doesn't give a damn. He is running out for kills left, right, and center. There's another challenge, but this time he'll meet his demise. And this is already looking pretty decent for Envy. Sure, there's a low player or two, but... They've already got this back into a three versus three scenario, an after plant where they can play a little bit more aggressive, and if they can kill off Sushi Boys, I even start to think it's winnable. Now that is a decent scan coming through though, on the side of Sova, giving that opener, spotting out FNS, still getting tagged fairly low, and Marv has found a kill elsewhere. This is a real possibility for Envy. FNS wins the duel as well, and now it's all onto Foxy, and he's being pushed from behind, he wins it on the rope! And now it's all onto FNS, flanking, looking to come round, but he's buying so much time, even just by not peeking this, even just by sitting back and waiting for it to be tapped, just running straight through to his opponent and he's just playing with him he's gonna try and stick it oh. though he has to run around it's gonna be so close and fns will win it it is envy clutching things out with just smgs they pretty much have to win they have got currently four players on this a side they have gambled on the position of their opposition and just decided to push them early in these rounds we question whether or not we would have the same style out from x10 well we've basically oh, no. been told within the area in that duel then all of a sudden x10 become the favorite <laughs> that's a headshot that's a headshot get out of here man out of the ground i think we can uh we can let that one slide x10 walk away with this round in towards the side plants coming down and well maybe not because patapan just keeps getting aggressive this guy's ridiculous he must have got the tank. He was trying to time that so that he wouldn't, but I guess it doesn't even matter at this point. FNS will be able to get one. Actually, Crashies has got another in response. Now, you can see straight away Sushi Boys is just going to be out of there. Running back, making sure he doesn't give things up, especially with the fact that they already have the spike on the deck. And while it's getting dangerous, but thankfully, Paddy is just still fragging. Just dominates MV. I'm going to see this aggressive push once again. Oh, this time he's getting tagged up, trying to dodge the Hunter's Fury. And actually, Scary's the one to take down. I said that there's no one around it, and it's Marved about to walk on back straight across the operator's oh. sidelines, Ooh. and he somehow wins the okay. duel. That's the operator. Booksy has to be dead oh, here. No. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't What's expect he anybody oh, to still be here. Okay. Uh, try to check the recon, and well, th this round is just perfect from Envy. They are catching every single player off guard. It's left on to Cruz, and he's an absolute miracle. Manages to get himself a couple. Spots crash, he's crossing as well. Surely there's no way. He has a res. If he gets this kill, he can potentially pull them back into it. Three kills for him already. He'll look wide. Sees no one there. Here's the res coming through. They'll peek in to try and take him down, and they succeed. 
Foxy having to make this 1v2 a reality. His teammate's done the legwork, but it's still not an easy close. They know exactly where he is. He's ready for the peak. He has the info on both players, but Crashies closes it out with double digits in here with those shots and almost saving the round. Great shot okay. out of Sushi Boy. From him just yet. There's that wall going down from the defenders to try and allow them to retake, but they might not even need to play too aggressive. X10 have all the control of the map. There's 30 seconds left and a two-player advantage in their favor. Out comes the swing from Cruz, who does go down to the shock dart. But the follow-up is there. Scary, not expected to be on the same spot that his teammate just died on. Leaving Crashies to attempt to save, but there are players everywhere. They're hunting him down. They do not want this weapon to be carried forward, and, well, they will not allow it. Yeah, it's going to be picked, especially when someone like Ye has got that rifle. To try and make it work, that aggression out. It's open, lurking in towards the B side, just in case they want to switch gear. And the kills are just being offered up on a plate. Yeah, talk about the trading. Just moments later, it's just instant 1v1s. Giving these opportunities over Cruz, they're not really peeking for him, though, but marved again. He's found so much impact over the last couple, and Foxy tries to make a hero play, and instead loses his life. So many weapons, and there's a lurk coming through from Crashies as well. This kill is as free as it gets. Scary goes down, and while you mentioned it at the beginning of the round. Printed up the tube, and Foxy was just looking away. What? Absolutely clueless. <laughs> just a ludicrous he wins this battle after all. Oh, oh, what is he no. doing? Oh my goodness, Foxy's lost the plot. He's, he's, not, he's having a mare. Oh my god. Two versus four. Patty with a damn good attempt, but Cruz has to clutch it out. He's seen one player. He saw him again. There we go. To spot Marv, but he just hit the timing perfectly. 12 to 10. And to save in those sort of moments, that probably means you needed that gun. Yeah, no, absolutely. They, they had basically no cash coming into that round. We, we saw their investment go down to zero on some players and yell. Potentially final round and X, X10 need to win two in a row. Weak weapons. Hunter's Fury. Trying to catch them off, and Patty nearly goes He's down so to a cruise. With it. Unfortunately, does. I don't know how Crashies gets that value every time. In the corner, Sushi Boys is in trouble. He dashes out, but still gets caught, and they are falling left, right, and center. This is looking like Envy have it on lockdown, unless there's a huge play on the way from X10. Yeah, they need to kill off Marved. Otherwise, just an opening here run. is going to be so tough. The jump through, okay. looking for that extra little bit of vision, but oh. Victor has just slammed them back. And we're going to don't know what's waiting for you on the other side, brother. Okay, luckily we're going to have Patty moving it out, trying to fight up into heaven. Crash, he's able to catch one, but he'll be taken down. Good response by Patty, but they have lost a player, lost the advantage, and it'll Ooh. only spiral further. What a connection by Ye! Said Ye will only go quiet for one map. It doesn't last for long. Three kills in the pistol don't think more aggressive than you'd normally see now he's gonna bypass a lot of the utilities he's already been spayed placed and then comes the blade storm updraft easy kill ba and this bonus is looking deadly already he's already in their spawn after dashing in and they don't expect it but sushi boys can still make the connection up in okay. heaven they'll return another in x10 or not down and out of this round just yet out in the open the plant Ooh. is found but crashies is left in a bad spot trapped on the back side fns waiting for his moment to strike he comes around at just the right time to take the dump. But coming back to try and support this as we see all of the stars going down onto the floor. Good positioning. But again, yeah, he just pops off with a double opener. Going back no for a little way. bit more. He's just dominating at this point. He gets rolling and he's very, very difficult to stop. Two players remaining on the wraparound. Marv is waiting. He's heard all the footsteps just oh. watching, but he still loses the back. The 2v2, the steps heard up close. The flash goes around the corner. FNS wants to force the duel. Foxy never ends up popping it. And now, oh, you're in trouble. Sushi Boy's traded out. Yay, looking for the ace. Oh and it's going to be found. But he couldn't really do anything. They lost their sight line, leaving one guy on the side to get isolated. That's disgusting <laughs> from Foxy. The double opening. He's going for more oh, and no. runs out of ammo. That's the only reason he falls in the end. The plant now being attempted. In comes the nade. It's going to bounce back, and he's going to be sucked in towards it. But luckily, Marv escapes, but he meets the Sheriff of Patty. The showstopper finds the final kill of the round. An X-10. Go and do it again, you know. You're you're five for one in those kind of fights. But now, five for two as he gets okay. shut down again. Okay, I like it. I, 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 again, the fact that X10 are not shying away from these jewels anymore just shows how their attitude as a team, the timing, okay, even for what, completely blind. They actually managed to trade this back fairly even. Now the spike's been dropped by Patty.
He hasn't stopped pushing, and he's going to take that control. Last there needs to be a response standing. here, and Cruz finding the kill turns things on to crashies. Yeah, it's going to be tough. He's picked up the spike, but he's being spotted doing so. Good swing. But look at that. <laughs> there was a mark on my screen. I thought he just fired two, uh, two knives into a wall. I was like, what's <laughs> going on? But yeah, he's really lost Ooh. his touch. Crashies is already down. Good trade, though. FN Injurious. Sushi Boy still has a lockdown to play with. There's 15 seconds left on the clock, and I think it's just about to be deployed. Yeah, he's caught in the open. 10 seconds to cross over and get that spike planted, but Sushi Boys goes out. He forces the duel. Oh, Luckily, Cruz down. is there to save the day, and there's no way for this round to go to Envy. Well played by Ninja there, and they still are. Look at this. Patty is really just sending it straight down mid. They heard that there were like four players here, and Patty was like, aha, lots of players for me to kill. Sadly, he couldn't get anything done, but his team Mates are stepping it up and pulling the advantage back into the favor of the defensive side. Again, there was a lurk coming through on the A side, but it's been caught. I, it doesn't seem that anybody is like catching Sushi Boys off guard at this point. No. Like, he has made sure that he's had utility on the rotation, uh -oh. but the trades are decent. Victor, though, only on 7 HP, and unfortunately, his heal doesn't work on himself. Yeah, not going to be great. You need to see some headshots coming out of this guy. Seekers. Would almost be ideal here just to get the info. Where are these Missy soon going to run out of utility? And as we saw mentioned, a single bullet would be enough. Needs to try and isolate one of these jewels instead. They're going to look to try and push this together. The flash is perfect, and it's an easy cleanup in the end. Should be enough time for them to actually get this one. In fact, they're actually going to switch over the defusal a little bit. It's there. Nobody panicked. Nobody got itchy, look at an itchy trigger finger. Oh, maybe not. Getting aggressive, oh, flashing, but Ye still takes him down. Ye is up in heaven. He's been stunned now by the fault line, and he will fall. Although Sushi Boys gets tagged, it's not really going to do much to slow them down. Great grab, well in play, and Marv gets the result. FNS going to take down Patty right afterwards, and this is looking like an absolute disaster. Only Sushi Boys left, and he'll find the first, but Timmy the Turret's looking for his first kill. Spike planted. 33 HP. Things aren't the way with this. Uh, he'd have to isolate the jewel, and Victor, I'm sure, will be ready to peek out for the trade if he does. And FNS isn't even going to make that a problem. Oh, look to get aggressive, but so is Sushi Boys. And the operator now just around the corner. It goes in and takes down Victor. Spike spotted. He's made it to behind. Got crashes available with his Viper's Pit. And he's actually going to use it deep in towards the spawn. They counter like it, it instantly, though. They got locked down that they're just going to put into run. place and force him back out. They're going to try and take the fight while they do this as well. Foxy, though, only going to manage to get one. Paddy, I think he's just used his showstopper and there is no survival there. It's going to be left on to FNS trying to take this in a one versus three. Yeah, they know that he was towards the spawn. They've spotted him as well and Scary will eliminate him to close out this half. Even numbers six to six. I know Dash likes that. And they're going to come up against a Viper screen, a lot of utility and a, a nasty trap that's been set. A bad idea being chased down like that. He's trying to fake that maybe he's moving in towards the spawn, but he's been spotted now just down below. Sushi Boys eliminates an FNS on the backside. Isolated a man on his own, but they have no idea that he's here. Luckily, Sushi Boys is still watching from above. Yeah, they turned this back. That said, it, it was looking pretty dangerous, at least initially. Victor has gone running through, but the flash is perfect. Foxy leaving it so blunt from this at all, Mitch. No, I, I, I don't quite think he's going to get that one on the board, and it's fitting the utility available at the moment for the side of Envy. Oh no, that is Marved in trouble. Still gets away with a kill. The trade, though, perfect for X. Standing around like this, Crashies is running through utility, taking the damage, but dealing far more. A three versus two comes out of this with Foxy quite low. Patty has to be the one to take these duels and pull them into the lead. Nice shot connected onto Ye. He's left on 10 HP, but that's more than enough with a 3v1 with low health for Foxy. A huge play needed. He fakes the flash. A good attempt. Looking at Marv staying out on that corner with the grab well after, but there's too many players. The firing squad eliminates him and Ye really seem to matter because X10 are full committed towards this site and they are finding a lot of duels. Yeah, these peaks are so aggressive. They're not giving any chance. But, oh, either way, we're going to have this cosmic divide allowing them space to put a lockdown. I like this strategy, but it's not well, great. Sushi Boys has pushed straight through and already managed to find one. It's going to be that pickoff. 
Crashy's getting caught trying to destroy it, but uh -oh. Patty nice has put into poor positions. Good thing is it's a sky on the other side, so you can see Foxy just flashing through later. Cruz needs to win this fight to maintain control over Heaven. Oh, Scary standing. Foxy Sushi, Ooh. everybody's falling. Cruz is now the last man alive, and sure, he'll keep Heaven control, but he needs to stop this fight from being diffused. It's planted for him. The time is low. If he can just take down FNS, it's already halfway. Oh! But he's got the triple, the rolling thunder on the back of it, and the round secured. What an absolutely insane clutch by survived. Cruz. Getting away with that round. Coming in, they've even seen Victor rotating into position, but there's no time to change direction. They've caught Crashies on the backside. They know that Marv is here too, but there's very little time. They need the plant. All Marv has to do is stop it, and they will get it done. Envy have taken this round, and they will take one step closer to an overtime at 12 to 8. X tend to try and work out to calculate in those last few seconds that Marv was able to just sit by and sneak through with another high impact round. 12 to 8, as you mentioned, it's they can set up for their after plants with still a decent amount of utility available to them, especially in form of Killjoy. Now, I've seen the Poison Orb already take at least a little bit of control. I don't know if they're going to expect Scary to be this close, and it'll hear the flash. He's just watching forward. He lines up, but only manages to get one. Ye wraps around the corner, and the trade is there after he gets two kills. Still leaving this into a 3v3 scenario. A chance to end this. The Sushi Boy lands another headshot. Still players outside this site. They need the trades back as Crashies manages one. After Paddy drop. is still here, though. And up above is Cruz. He's spanning through once again. The lineups he has are perfect. And Crashy once again trying to fill up the clutch. Just sticking it all the way through. But it isn't good. Gonna bring a lot of value, sure. But the same amount as a Sova? Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, it worked last time. And already, mm -hmm. Sushi Boy is looking to continue his run of form. They have a check for Victor, though. And give this man an opportunity. He's found himself two kills. So, oh no, Crashy is tagged oh, him heavily on the way back, but he'll still take down Foxy. 10 HP left. He needs a headshot. At least onto Scary, but he won't find it. Scary returning it and putting it at least into a One winnable spot remaining. for them. Sushi Boys on 8 <laughs> HP is walking away with three, leaving FNS to try his right best click. to clutch this out. The right click is his friend in this one with everybody being so low. <laughs> but in the end, he's caught rich seconds away from doing that, but he misses the timing. They're already around the corner. Luckily, he catches Scary. They take, but X-10 have reset. Sadly, they're not finding space anywhere else. They were playing a full retake. Now they're going for a little bit more control. Ye is going to catch Patty. The spike down, luckily bounces a. down, but One with 12 a. seconds left, Long. they had to just sprint under the side and unfortunately. Yeah, this is a bit of a lost round for X10. Not covering their bases, not stopping the aggression, and now they're going to have trouble walking. <laughs> excuse me, walking into a stacked up site. Catching me off guard with some of these duels going down. Crashies already comes out with two and blows it with the triple. Solid performance over. Turn around with a faster play straight towards the C site. They are rushing it in. FNS playing the anti flash, but that allows Patty to get onto the back side. He'll eventually walk away with one kill. Turns on to FNS for more, and the site is theirs. He oh. eats that shock dart, though, which leaves it into a 3v3. Yeah, they're having to use the lockdown just to give them enough time to get into an Castles after block. And we're going to have the push coming through. This battle could be absolutely everything. And of course, yeah, he's going to win it. Leaving things into a three versus two retake. One of the players desperately low as well. And they are looking to try and use this rolling thunder here. Now, the other player is incredibly far away, but they're expecting to buy enough time that they can go for a wraparound. And that might just be enough. Very early nano swarm as well. That's not going to buy them as much time as they hope. The rolling thunder indeed comes out in the same regard. Running down the clock. They're relying on this flank coming through. It was being watched, but it looks like Envy have diverted their attention. They're looking over towards oh. Long, but Crashy still gets away with it. The Diffuse will come in on time, leaving Envy. Oh, they're even swapping it over. They're very confident. 1.5 moments to be going and how they're going to place down a lot of their Astra utility already, though. Yay, off-angle taken. They wouldn't even have seen anyone in that battle. It's not even that. It's also, like, after those players fall it. back, FNS goes in and holds closed doors. So now an angle they cleared a couple seconds ago is occupied. They don't go towards it, though. They are going for a play to see Long held out by utility for a moment. Marv has not been stunned uh -oh. on the backside. This is dangerous. He'll only get away with one. But now FNS has an opportunity, and even blinded, he's able to get away with a kill. 2v4 as X10 get a plant. Yeah, I don't know if that plant's going to be anywhere near enough as Player the Cosmic standing. Divide fades. There's so many players just waiting behind. F and S is already going to bring the disadvantage as they move in towards the site. The flash onto Mark.
but he'll still look for the fight. That dash is so strong, and Patty gets away with a kill, as well as the space for his team to follow up. Somehow, despite the economy being absolutely ruined on this attack side, they are set to take this round. Oh, oh it can't be Crashies again. That and swing back in, and the time now starting to tick relatively low. Oh, he's gonna land the no scope though. Just one more need, and he's not quite quick enough on the trigger cruise. We've seen them do it before. All it takes is a split. They were 5 0 down on the last map. Oh, Quickly no. returned, but Victor alongside Crashies. I swear this man gets a kill with that ult every single he round. He got a kill and an assist. Uh, it's record. Is, is this Omen all of a sudden? Uh, he's in their spawn. And they have absolutely no clue, but Crashies goes down. A big player for this team, but so is Ye. And now the flank oh, of Marv. He hasn't no. been spotted, and he stack. knows he knows they're, they're on long. Oh, there's a free kill for him. Tapping away, taking Cruz down. And they know Sushi Boy is coming around the corner. Huge round from Marv. Real get out of control. X10 need to win it. And it's not oh looking good to God. start with. I don't know how Crashies is on fire like this. Yay, turning up for three as well. And the final player is being spotted. Scary with 50 HP running for his life. Don't do it to him. Don't you do it to him, Yay. Oh my God, that was close. Good spray. Scary doing damage. 19 health. Can he make it the full four piece? He's caught him off guard. Oh but thankfully, Victor gets the kill. <laughs> How are they so chill? Making god tier plays here, looking for their quarterfinal spot, and it's looking even better in this round. Oh, I could see that going their way as well. Three versus four. It's yeah, they've got themselves the afterplant, but the retakes thus far have been so good from the side of Envy. They've been willing to give up a lot of this control. He's going for some more shock dart damage and forcing a little bit more aggression but the thing is this they've taken space they're just straight up defusing this the aftershock will at least delay them for the moment but they might not know that this already got halfway again the rolling thunder is set up to try and force them back as they tap this defuse once more paddy band's gonna be hit by it as well and they're still just sticking this defuse holding it all the way through and mv are gonna take an eight it was so close for x10 but push up to nine this is scary Oh my god, oh my god! Oh. He's been hit by everything! Every piece of utility has just landed at FNS's feet, and still, MB walk out with a double, a oh, triple, a quadruple yes. opening! Almost the ace for Marv! The question we'll be answering in the next couple of seconds. That aggression out of Victor, working great to start things off, Ooh, but oh my what? god! Patty comes in for a double, Foxy with the same, and Crashies, he's still in their spawn, and he's wondering how he's gonna win this 1v4 gonna have to stat pad but they peek him together big round x10 pushing down about to be caught off by fns who gets a double i saw him taking cruise but patty as well is a bit ridiculous yay overzealous on the seaside is punished and so too Ooh, right. will the majority of the mv team be this is a bounce back from x10 around that it is it is acceptable to lose a few players in because envy have gotten that force buy up but sushi boys doesn't give a damn and leaves victor to do it all by himself great damage the 1v2 not looking very likely with 2 hp remaining and he'll be finished off right after X10 Me too. are contemplating what are envy gonna do well they've seen us get aggressive on a so much so instead they're gonna go to the seaside and so X10 run into them, take a double opening, and now the players inside of Garage can't really get out towards the site. Take one of them off in the meantime. Oh, they're going for the clear. Timing going to be absolutely everything. It. There is no chance that anything comes through for Voxy. And then the site, and although it started excellently, now they know uh -oh. that these players are kind of contained further away. Last and well, only standing. the one for Yay. Uh -oh. Oh, Leaving oh. Victor alone, this is kind of falling apart pretty damn quickly. This man has to do it all. Both players coming from the spawn right up in front of him. Low HP on Sushi Boys who gets deleted. Flash ready. Primed and popped around the corner. But Cruz still walks away with the victory. Plenty of time to defuse. X10 aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really surprised they actually managed to look at X10 now, though. Full ultimates. Outside of the Cosmic Divide, they have everything to work with. But they are losing a couple of players. Luckily, Sushi Boys is there to eliminate Mark and Victor. I think they saw how many Ultima Orbs were actually on the board. How many, how many Ults were close, I should say. And so they had a direct counter to that Orb just to try and get a couple of kills. He's making his way up through mid with a classic in hand. This is an odd play. He's going to walk through the smoke with the same and, and just gets players out. Now, I do see a couple of shock darts available for crashes. Oh. And in fact, he goes aggressive. So now he's taken out that lockdown. That retake is gone. 
And FNS has put his own down. A couple seconds left on that to pop, but look who's waiting for them. Patty wanting to get aggressive right afterwards. There's the pulse, and he's going to walk in right after, making his way up behind. FNS won't be seen. He's hiding up in the corner atop the logs. But it's Crash. He's unworried about that barrel. is going to become visible very soon. In fact, he's walked right out into the open. Patty oh, okay. gets away with both of them. And that's a devastating round for Envy. They committed quite a bit to it. And those mid duels have been holding garage control, the most important angles. And in fact, the Trailblazer is going to spot uh -oh. FNS. It's going to tag him as well. The Nano Swarm. <gasps> the grab well on the Nano Swarm. That's huge. Great damage done. It leaves Foxy on 8 HP, but they can't get away with the kill. <gasps> I, I don't know how everybody has tagged up so much. This is ridiculous. A shock dart going through. It could be a death sentence for any of these players. Another, in fact, then it will be with Foxy going down. I don't know how Crashies is safe in that corner, nor do they. What? They never expected him to be there. A gap in the aftershock, and it cost them the round. Envy for this one. An X10. Having to fight their way back in towards the site. It definitely didn't go well last time, and now they don't have all those ults to work with. They'll get the side for free. The Seekers spawning out if there's anybody on the flank. Look how fast oh my God. Envy are rolling through. They're trying to go on the wraparound. Now, Paddy's already managed to find one, and because of this, they can just get straight onto the defusal. They're just trying to stick this all the way, but the spam through is enough. Trades coming back and forth, but this being halfway definitely has its risks about it. Up close, Sushi Boys loses the battle, and they're not able to just get on this defusal anymore. They need an absolute miracle, and Paddy knows it. He's just trying to fall out of there at this point. Envy, they have their 11th in the bag. Can they get rid of the op? They might be able to. Ye is coming around on this angle. He'll catch him. But Patty hits the shot to save the right. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Same aggression up through A. Uh, feels like Envy are, are very much just waiting for X10 to make a move. They know there's going to be some economic weaknesses. They know that that. <gasps> he tried to shoot the drone and headshotted Ye. That might be the luckiest thing I've ever seen. And then Patty oh peeks back up. Oh my god. Oh, I'd buy a lottery ticket. That's never going to happen again. Well, there's two players spotted on C as well. You know, everywhere that Envy are trying to go, they're just running into stacks and play, fighting for the extremities. But up here on the flank, FNS is good for the first. Now, Sushi Boys is in a bit of trouble with a Spectre and he's being spammed down. Still going to get a kill. Marv left to 40 and taken down immediately. The flank in through long Patty. Playing with the operator in through the smoke, FNS tries to sneak. Stance coming through from Ye, that hero rifle looking to take into his own hands. The bait from Crashies is absolutely oh. fine, and the whip from Cruz! That might just turn this round on his head. However, Scary has already pushed back in another for Sushi Boys, making sure it doesn't get out of control, and making the difference just one. Yeah, well handled by X10. Wait, Something we're in the it. round, Mitch. We're pushing forward. The oh flash God. is perfect from Foxy. They had a pause to try and think what they were going to do. The fact is, all they've done is take oh. a few bullets. Foxy trying to do everything in this round, leaving just two players remaining. They're going to have to use every piece of utility just to try and kill him off. And then there's still crews just waiting behind. Oh yeah, this this one ain't gonna go their way. FNS left on seven HP, quickly dealt with X10, tie things up. Empt for that ultimate orb. The reason is Crashy's one off, but look at this pace, just running straight through. Ye has already managed to pick off one. He's taken a lot of damage in response, but it leaves. Well, I was gonna say one defender, but there has been a rotation. There has been a rotation. There's also here? been a heal back up, so Ye is on full HP, but not? Foxy. There's no way they check this. They're lining up for him, and he'll only Ooh. get away with one. Ye quickly shutting it down. This gets scary very quickly because look where Crashies is lurking in the shadows of Sea Long. They're moving to the A site. Cruz will try to hold on oh, and he gets what? away with three. The lockdown will do absolutely nothing. Oh, Cruz, give yourself a pat on the back, but you need one more. They're not quite there. And on the defense. They've got a lot of players towards this seaside. Envy running into it. They've got Scary on the back who will be dealt with immediately. Oh, and this is the round where we needed someone to step up for Envy. And of course it's Ye to get it done. Oh, there is still a response, but it's going to be tough. They need a hero once again. It's not happening. OT is looking more than likely. It's left all onto Paddy to try and clutch this one out, and he's already been spotted. They don't need to take a risk. Envy will not go down without a fight. As North no, if the Tiger has actually spotted out Crashies, they've got the flash, and they have a couple of players here. This is already basically a stack through from the Envy side. A good opportunity here for Crashies again, but he's going to get on oh. by Utility, and a snap! Back from Patty! Up on the A side, biding their time. 
composing themselves and then rushing the util and got torn to shreds. This time, they learned from their mistakes and a 13th round is found. Now just one away for the second time from eliminating Envy. DA claim their spot in the playoffs. The stun to the back side. Oh, they're going to eliminate Sushi Boy to start with. But Patty is still going strong on the back side. Oh, and through the cloud burst, it comes the blade storm, and it's not even 